Welcome to another Z Hut Design Spark Mechanical Tutorial. Today we will be modeling a fidget spinner. Make sure you stick around until the end of the video because after we finish modeling the fidget spinner, we will print it out on a 3D printer, press in the bearings, and try it out. Let's get started. First, open up a new design and then select Plan View. Select the circle tool and make a circle in the center of the sketch plane. For this fidget spinner, we will be using 608 bearings. The outer diameter of these bearings is 22 millimeters, so we will make the circle's diameter 22 millimeters. Next, select the polygon tool, then click on the center of the circle and drag it out a little bit. Push the tab key until number of sides is selected and change it to three. Then make a 22 millimeter triangle. Zoom out a little bit. Select the three point rectangle tool and make a 38.11 millimeter by 38.11 millimeter rectangle on each of the triangle's three sides. Next, select the construction line tool and make an X in each of the three rectangles to find their center. Select the circle tool and make a 22 millimeter circle in the center of each of the three rectangles. Select the trim tool and get rid of all of the construction lines. Then get rid of the triangle in the center. Next, change to 3D mode. Select the Select tool, then hold down the Control key and select all four circles and then press the Delete key. Now, select the Pull tool and extrude the model out to a thickness of 7 millimeters, which is the same thickness as our 608 bearings. Now that we have the basic model of a fidget spinner, we can modify it to our liking. I'm going to proceed with mine by first rounding off the outer corners. Make sure the pull tool is selected and then hold down the control key and select all six of the outer corners. You can release the control key if needed to rotate the model. Just remember to press it again before selecting any additional corners. Next, make sure round is selected in the pull options menu and then grab one of the corners and pull it to your desired shape. I'm pulling mine all the way to make it completely rounded. Next, I'm going to round the inside corners. While holding down the control key, I will select the three corners Then grab one and pull it out to the desired shape. Now let's work on the top and bottom outside edges. First, double click on an outside edge to select the whole outside perimeter. Then flip the model over and do the same thing while holding down the control key. This time I'm going to chamfer the outside edges instead of rounding them. To do this, simply select Chamfer under the Pull Options menu and then grab one edge and pull it to the desired shape. At this point, if you are designing this fidget spinner to 3D print, you can go ahead and export it as an STL file. But before we go over to the printer and print this, I will quickly show you how to add the bearings into this model. Click on the Download 3D Models tab in the design bar. Type 608 into the search field and click on Search. 
Both results are the same bearing. Select one and download it to your computer. Then close that window. Now go under File, click Open, and navigate to where you stored the file on your computer and click on it. Now use the Select tool and select the whole bearing and copy it. Go back to your fidget spinner model and paste the bearing into the sketch. Then just use the move tool to line it up with one of the holes. Repeat this process for each of the other three bearings. All right, let's go over to the 3D printer and print this out. Now that we have the fidget spinner printed, let's put the bearings in. Now you could just hammer them in, but this could damage the bearings and possibly break the fidget spinner. The easiest way to put the bearings in is to use a nut and a bolt with a few washers to press them in. There we go, all the bearings are in. Well, let's try it out. Here are a few other designs of the fidget spinner I have made. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.